So it really also seems that uh, the kind of questions or internal dialogue we have has a major impact on what our reality or external world seems to be. Because in this situation, if you asked yourself that question, oh my God, why me? Rather than, you know, what is this trying to teach me or what is it showing up? Your whole life situation would have been very different. Oh, yeah, completely. You're, you're absolutely right. Uh, it's the internal dialogue that all, that, that's all that counts because that's all you have. Uh, you have control over it. Uh, it. It's not manipulating it and saying, um, I'm a good person, I'm a good person, I'm a lovable person, I deserve... It's not about that. It's about accepting uh, your unkind thoughts as well and uh, your mistakes. Uh, you're saying, well, I have the right to make mistakes. And if you accept your mistakes and say, okay, I made a mistake, well, if I make a mistake, I usually celebrate. I, I really say, wow, great, I made another mistake. Because I know my mistakes are the source for some greater learnings, leading me into an area that I, otherwise I would never have uh, yet, yet, yet gone to. Um, I would not have experienced that. So um, having to take a U-turn uh, is sometimes very useful because it avoids um, perhaps an accident uh, or it will get you on a different path that was uh, meant for you. We are all guided by our in own inner spiritual wisdom, uh, even if that includes um, making so-called mistakes. Um, you're doing things that are against us. There is nothing against us. Uh, it is always, sometimes you know, we need a thorn to pull out another thorn uh, because the, the original thorn can be very painful and by pulling it out it can be painful too. But then you're relieved of it. Uh, you can use your finger again. Uh, so again, the negative things are positive things. They're just uh, negative because we haven't complemented them with the positive reason. We haven't associated the negative with the positive reason and therefore we are stuck with the negative until we make that connection and say, well, there must be a good reason why this negative thing is happening to me, why I had this accident, why I developed this cancer. Uh, all, of th all of these things are for us, they're not against us. There is no reason to fight them, there is a reason to accept them. And the moment we have accepted them, and they are a part of our lives, we embrace them, uh, we can harmonize with them, then the healing can begin. That's when the correction happens. That's when suddenly we become a magnet for the things that uh, we, we wanted uh, all along. But we, we are projecting our fears. What if I don't get it? The moment we have that fear, we cannot get it because we are separating ourselves from what we want. It's all energy.